Worms, welcome back to my channel and to another review. Today I'll be talking about Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz, a detective book that has a lot of positive reviews and a lot of people are claiming that it's more than your average who done it. And basically this book is like two in one. On its surface we have a 50s countryside mystery. We have a small village in England where, you know, everyone knows everybody and a woman dies from what seemed to be an accident. But after another person dies at the same house from an obvious murder, the detective character decide to look into it and see, you know, what happened to this man, but also if the two deaths are related. But everything that I just told you is actually only a part of a manuscript sent to a book editor called Susan Ryland, one of the biggest, most famous, uh, best-selling authors in her book publishing company, wrote his latest novel and for the first half of this book we read it with her. But at the midpoint, approximately, she realized there is something wrong with the manuscript and there is a real-life mystery and basically she now has to play detective and to realize what happened to the author and what happened to this manuscript. Obviously, this book has a very interesting structure. No doubt this is one of the most unique and innovative ways to write a murder mystery that I ever came across. But the question is, is this book more than just an interesting concept? And the answer is, eh, kind of. It's not a bad book by, by any means, but I feel like other than having this really cool idea, this is basically your average murder mystery. Now, this is not a bad thing. You know me, I love my murder mysteries, but I couldn't help but have this feeling of condescension and even hypocrisy from this book. Now I'll try to explain. Basically the entire premise is built on the fact that this is more than just your average whodunit. That this manuscript is a work of genius and, and it isn't. I know, I read it for the first half of this novel and this creates the first problem. So Magpie Murders, the novel, seem to criticize the whodunit genre, but at the same time it has all of its cliches. There is a commentary there on the book publishing world and about this discrepancy between art and business. There is commentary on how an author might want to write about one thing that they really feel strongly about, but the readers want to read about something else. So if this author wants to actually sell books and make any money, he has to sell out and write about something that he doesn't like. But I also felt that there was this huge disrespect toward the readers as if they are collectively responsible for the author's lost dreams of writing good literature. As if what all book consumers ever want is just, you know, cheesy romantic trash. There are people out there who still like more highbrow literature and don't condescend on those who don't. There is nothing wrong about wanting some cheese in your spare time. On one hand, you do have characters who comment against this disrespect, but I still got the feeling that the underlying message of this book is people are trashy and we need to read more fancy schmancy books, which by the way, this one isn't. This is so irritating. People are allowed to read whatever they want. So these were obviously the opinions of Conway, which is the character of the author in this book, the one who wrote this manuscript. But despite everything, I still can't 100% pinpoint whether Anthony Horowitz, who wrote the novel, actually shared his opinions with Conway or actually wants to criticize people who do. I personally lean toward the passive-aggressive steam blowing on book consumers. This is the feeling that I got from the book, But other than that, as a murder mystery, this book is pretty cool. Not amazing, and I did find some of the writing in the manuscript itself not very interesting, and I had some comments about the writing, but, you know, it will pass the time nicely. Average. Entertaining, you know? I just think that if the characters would have stopped constantly referring to this very mediocre manuscript as a work of genius, then I would have enjoyed it more. I just honestly don't think it was as 
amazing as Horowitz thought it was. I mean, commentary, cool, great, but I don't know, it felt also somewhat lacking? It's like saying that people should stop taking selfies in famous places and instead start actually experiencing these places. True, yeah, but also very simplistic and somewhat condescending. So those were my thoughts on Magpie Murders. Did I enjoy the book? Yeah, sure. It was entertaining, it was fun, it passed the time. Was it amazing? Definitely not. It had some commentary, sure, but I felt like it was just kind of there to say something and I felt it kind of lack in actual substance. But I still wonder what you think if you read this book. Did you also felt like the book was condescending or the book was criticizing people like Conway who felt that way? about book consumers. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click like to show your support. Also subscribe to my channel if you dare and write down in the comment section what you thought about Magpie Murders if you read it. And if you haven't, just recommend a very good and unique murder mystery. So guys, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.